Hey, thanks for coming over. I know it was sort of last minute, but I really need your help, and you're the only one I knew that was available, so come in. Cool. Uh, get comfy. Want a water, soda, beer, wine, snacks? Oh, uh, I have this cheese dip in the fridge. We can make nachos. Stalling? No, I'm not stalling. I'm just being a good host. I'm, it's not like I'm embarrassed or anything about the reason why I needed you over. Nope, not at all. Well, why? Why did I call you over? Well, um, um, so, hmm, you know ASMR, right? You watch it, right? Right. So, I have my own ASMR channel of sorts. It's mostly audio role plays. Yeah. Uh, I, I like that I can provide some sort of comfort for people when they're feeling down or lonely. And I don't think any of my friends know that. You're the first. Don't go all, why are you telling me this on me? It means a lot to me and Clearly, it's relevant to why you're here if I'm revealing all of this to you now. I've had a bit of writer's block recently. I'm weeks behind on putting a video out and can't for the life of me figure out what to do. You're the only friend I know that listens to this sort of thing and the only one that I felt comfortable confiding in. Please, help me write a script. No, this couldn't have been a Discord call. That's not the same. I need you here, in the flesh. Why? Um, um, better creative flow? Practice? I, uh, don't know. I didn't think about it, okay? I've been busting my ass at work and going straight home at the end of the day. I haven't seen anyone outside of work since last year. I need the social interaction. I'm needy. So, will you please stay and help me write this script? No, I can't use someone else's script. I've been relying on the script writers too much recently. This writer's block has been going on far too long and I really need to do this myself. With your help, of course. Pretty please. I'll be your best friend. I mean, I'm already your best friend, but I'll be your extra best friend. Thanks. This really means a lot to me. Right, let's get started. Lie down on the couch. What does that mean? I'll take the armchair. Let's do some brainstorming. I'm comfy cozy now. How about you? Great. So let's start by looking back at what I've done recently. In December, I had holiday activities with your boyfriend, and that was pretty fun. Nobody watched it, though, because it was drowned out by 24 days of tea reviews. Yeah, that algorithm does not like straying away from your niche.
before that, I did Nightmare Comfort with a ramble about my crochet project at the time. That was some good improv, I think. Was it improv? I might have written that down. I can't even remember at this point. Then I had this role play about a stray cat boy from this script writer I really like. That one did some decent numbers. Hmm. And before that, I was all the way back to Halloween. Some monster boy scripts that I did manage to write myself. Boy, that's nearly three months of borrowed content, though. Most popular video? Um, this is embarrassing, but Hyper Harpy Boy attempts to court you? That's the one that put me on the map. Borrowed script, though. Can't write my own sequel for it. What sort of videos do you watch again? Ear cleaning? Ear licking? Do those even count as role plays? I don't want to have to drop the money for a binaural microphone. I need that BFE here. Boyfriend experience. I know you have it in you. Pitch something to me. Coffee date? Classic. Tempting. Not too sure, though. It's kind of tame. January is the worst month for content creators. I need something to really draw them in. Something that brings the comfort that I, I mean, the audience craves. Touch starved listener. Getting warm. But we're on a deadline here. It's going to take far too long to record all the sounds I need for that one. I almost feel like we need something sort of out there, if you know what I mean. Like, the Monster Boys are a classic, right? I'm just not sure I want to do one right now. Flirty Dominant Crab pins you. Really? Fine, I'll throw it on the list. But you better have some explaining to do about that. Like, how big is this crab? Wait, no, I don't want to hear it right now. <sighs> Flirty Dom is a good one. But you know me. I don't think I have Dom bone in my body. Too subby. Too soft. Too shy. Yeah, that's it. Need a shy boy roleplay. I've done two already. I wrote one of them. We need a threequel. <sighs> mm. Don't think I can make a proper threequel, though. That last one ended with him coming out of the closet with his new girlfriend. Where do I go from there? I mean, I can think of a few places, but none of them I can put on YouTube. <sighs> so we need... The essence of a shy boy. But a new shy boy. Big wooby energy. They love the wooby. Or at least I love the wooby. Write that down. And then, what if. What if. What if... Yeah, I got nothing. This is usually where I end up stalled. I can get the premise down, I can get the action started, but once I reach the climax, I'm clueless. Those jerks in the creative writing class were right. I don't have what it takes. We do have some good material, though. I... Don't want to let it go to waste. Hmm. So there's usually two ways this sort of roleplay can go. Let me throw a poll up on my channel and then we can use the results to guide us. It won't take very long. They trend one way or the other pretty quickly. And there. Now we just have to wait a bit.
Ooh, 20 votes already. YouTube really likes to push these polls. And all of them are for friends to lovers. Great. While waiting, I had a few ideas on how to finish off the strictly platonic roleplay, but the viewers have spoken and we're back to square one. Dude, I haven't been on a date in months. I'm not even sure I know how to flirt anymore. How am I supposed to write a story like this? No, I can't just ignore the poll. This is what the people want. I can't let them down now after making them wait so long. Why are you hugging me? I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm just confused. I guess you're right. I do need this hug. There's a lot of pressure writing on this script, and I'm really stressing out over it. Hold me more, please. See, this, this is why I needed you in person. Can't hug on Discord. Hmm. In the last Shy Boy roleplay, I just sort of had him kissed suddenly, but it made sense in context. Could we do that here? The, the, I meant in the script. What was that supposed to be? What do you mean practice? Practice for what? I fail to see how this is practice for the roleplay or for script writing. No, this doesn't help me get a better understanding of friends to lovers. It's not like you're confessing to me or anything. You just randomly decided to kiss me on the lips while I was moping about... Oh. This is how you choose to confess? I mean, I'll take it, but it's not exactly the most romantic. You need to listen to some more confession role plays. Learn from the masters. And I'll be honest. I don't know how to feel about all this. It'll take some time for me to process these emotions. Also, I don't think we can use this as part of the roleplay. It's not very believable. I mean, you can have a giantess caring for the guy she accidentally stepped on, but if the sequence of events just doesn't feel natural, then the listener can't suspend their disbelief. Sorry, that's just how it works. For now, let's just do some brainstorming, I guess. Preferably while cuddling, because your hugs are really nice. Good. We'll figure all this out eventually. Ready to get back into it? Good. <sighs>